the end of that race. Our dogs is English dogs. It comes out of Jim Riggs and Gail Flower stock. We got Mountain Tough English and Fire Creek English. We just hope to start our own bloodlines. And when we started this, we wanted to find some what we thought was uh, the better stock. So these crops have been proven for years. It was honey dogs have had a lot of success out of them. We just hope to one day to say people look back and say, man, yeah, that Mountain Tough or that Fire Creek English is, uh, is what you want to have. Cause They've got to drive about the heart. They're just good hounds, and that's what we look forward to doing. I guess it was early 2000. We went to the Grand American, and I was looking for an English dog that could win. Out in the dog barn, there was a big red 80-pound English dog. Had a for sale sign on. UKC Grand Knight. It's had several titles. I ended up trying the dog and I bought him. It turned out it was a direct son of Gail Flowers, Grand Night Champion Wildfire. Come down four to five more Grand Night Champions out of fire. I've been breeding that same line of dogs for 19 years. They've always been good to me. They're coon treers. They go hunting hard. They've got good noses. They've got big mouths. They've got excellent dispositions. They're not hard headed. They have all the traits that I desire in a coon dog that I believe it takes to be a winner. It's like a roller coaster. We take these dogs and we put a lot of time in them. You know, you turn them loose, you're a little nervous. Are they gonna do what we've been wanting them to do? Are they gonna tree? Are they gonna stay treed? Have I been doing the right things? But at the end of the night, it's, it's a learning experience for both us and our dogs. When you hunt four, five, six nights a week, there's a lot that goes in a dog. A lot of time, a lot of investment. And when that dog does what it's supposed to do to your satisfaction, it's, it's fulfilling. You know, most people ask me, they say, why do you, you get in this sport? Number one, I love it. But the other reason is, is the young people. Uh, I want to try to get the best bloodline of dogs that I can to pass down to these young people. To start a, a line of dogs, and we want to do the betterment for the English breed. Different dogs got different kind of voices. They got ball mouse, you got chop mouse. But man, when, you, when that dog slams that tree and he's got the coon, especially a young dog, there's nothing that excites you any better. So it's just a sport that I've just loved and learned to love and it was passed down to me and I want to continue doing these things.